Uh, continues on prologue, no. Chapters. Squeeze me. Load. Load. Don't you scare me like that. That scared the crap out of me. Who else was scared by that? Me. I was really scared for a second. I thought we were going to have to start over and I was going to throw the game. I was going to throw it. I got really scared. Holy cow. Okay, heart, you can settle down now. Simmer down now. All right. I turned the alerts on on this screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. You guys ready? Y'all ready for this? All right, this is the private eye. We're arriving at a party. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. She's the mother of one of the kids that died by the origami killer. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. I'm in the rain, singing in the rain. Ooh. Um, sorry, you left your lights on? Stupid to bring them on. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. These are his thoughts. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Party, party, party. Oh man, you know it's a good party when right in the entry hallway there's a girl who can't even find, find a chair. I'm gonna find Kramer. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Oh my God! And this guy is asleep, passed out on the pool table. What? What is this? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and do nothing. That's about enough of that. All right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Pool table pass out. Locked door. Oh my gosh. What about this room? I'm just going <laughs> to explore the house. Ah, the bathroom. All right, get yourself together, man. He's like, why am I here? <laughs> he turns around with such determination. I was expecting him to say something. All right, yeah, wash your hands. So you don't look like a creep that just went to the bathroom for no reason. Okay. Just, <laughs> just air dry. Oh, my God. Here we go. There we go. My fourth time taking a leak in this game. Fourth time taking a leak. All right. Beautiful. There's no toilet paper on the roll. I'm going to get blamed for that. And let's not wash our hands. 
Perfect. <laughs> Brush your teeth right, right away after. Hello. Hi. Great party, huh? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Got a new friend. All right, got a new friend. Look at this, this man. I haven't seen so many people stumble. Oh my gosh. Sparkwood says, I must continue my collection. A box shirt for all seasons. Thank you so much, Sparkwood, for snagging the summer otter shirt. Thank you, thank you. Galavanting Coconut says, Hey, Otter, do you know what bog means in Australia? Probably toilet. I know it means a lot of things in a lot of different places, but yeah. My kind of guys are all three of you. There we go. Gordy. Oh, there's Gordy. Is this Gordy right here? Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Whiskey. Whiskey straight up, no ice. There we go. All right. Hey, good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. His name's Scott? I didn't know that. Okay. Got a. Hey, uh -oh. man. You think you could help me out? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here. No, I meant with something totally else. Finding someone who isn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. And I need one right now. I haven't seen Lauren for a while. Oh no, we lost Lauren. Let us see what she's up to. Don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. Exactly. Can't hear myself thinking here. What is that? Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. I, I have no idea what Gordy Kramer looks like. How am I supposed to find? Oh, let's go out of here. It's gonna be quiet around here. Ah, uh, there we go. It's better. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Okay, Gordy Kramer. You think he's the one that's dancing on the table? I'm gonna go for a swim. Oh, come on, that'd be funny. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. All right. There she is. We haven't done anything except well, I'm going back in. a couple shots. Hang tight. Okay. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Good question. Why don't you go ask him? <laughs> she just told me good luck. I'll never find him. Why don't you go ask him? Hey guys. I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Need it. Uh. <laughs> Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says Ooh, I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wallet down your throat? Beat it. I ain't for sale. 
Yeah, this guy's probably paying them a lot more. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. <laughs> I have no ideas, though. Introduce myself. Wait, who can I introduce myself to? Uh... Hey! Hi! I'm Scott. The music's a little loud, isn't it? <laughs> it's literally me at a party. This is me. Whoa. It's friend. It's our friend. See that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? Oh, no. We're going to start a fight. Starting to fight. You motherfucker. <laughs> this is the guy we got on our side. Uh oh, those security guards are going. Alright, here we go. Oh, you leave it? Alright, here we go. We've got to make our move. And there we go. Azari's food is awesome, Sar. Oh, how's her foot? <laughs> how's her foot? Her foot is was doing much better by the evening time. I heard her a lot for most of the afternoon. All right. Why are we getting some uh, stuttering here? Interesting. Is this where he is? Like, I don't even know where I'm going. Now we're gonna go get wet in the rain again. Stand over here for no reason. Hide behind the potted plant. Oh, there's an office. It's locked. Playing games? <laughs> First you jump and you serve little fish. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even notice me like come in. <laughs> Just wandering around. It'd be funny if you lay down in the bed and be like, hi. <laughs> Meze. <laughs> Let's go talk to this guy. Are these real dogs? <laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh! This is the best part! <laughs> this is the My best part. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Credits is his favorite part. 
<laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I thought he was talking to me. What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. I'd like to hear. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Uh... You don't think I'm gonna fall for that shit, do you, Kramer? I know it's not the first time you tried to lure a kid into your car. Yikes. I also know you were more than a suspect for the police. Now, if I were you, I'd think of something more credible. Otherwise, I'm gonna make sure you have some serious problems. Okay. Very well. What? I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Uh... Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? No, uh, that's good. This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Get off me, man! <laughs> Ow! There we go, I got that guy. <laughs> yeah? And this way. In the nuts. Yes. Oh! Block! Got you! B! Yeah! <laughs> Miss! Miss! Oh, I messed that up. That's pretty good. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Why'd we Not give him me. his name? Why'd we give him his name? Our name. Why did he give him his name? I don't think Scott Shelby was uh, ready for him to just totally make a confession. <laughs> That's true, he can't even say origami. <laughs> he was having a problem saying it, wasn't he? What was he saying? Origami. I put a little origami figure in his hand and I watched them drown. He said, origami, origami. <laughs> Wednesday, 7.42 p.m. 2.27 inches of rain. All right, this is the dad, right? Yeah, this is the dad. Who's going on missions trying to save his son, Sean. He's the oregano killer. That was too easy. I don't think it's him. Yeah, he might just be playing around with us. That's why they're telling you the accumulated rainfall, because it's going to fill up and kill the kid. Yes. All right. What the hell am I supposed to do here? This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. 
So, am I looking for a butterfly? It might be a trap. I'd better be careful. I know there's an invisible wall around here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I probably should have tried the door first. Do power stations just spark like that? I I don't know. I was thinking the same thing. A dead end. I I've got to go back on my tracks. There's the butterfly. Okay, so we got to get in there. Butterfly. FBI guy said all victims die at six inches of rainfall, if I remember. Okay. Oh, here we go. You can get in there. Try again. Uh-oh, we left a blood sample there. That's not good. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active. A butterfly on the door. That's where I need to get to. Oh, there's... Dude, dude, there's an origami... Right there. Okay, now we're stuck in here. Was I allowed to collect that one? There was an origami stuck to the door. The door is stuck. I'm locked in. Matches. Okay. Only the power station of Dr. Frankenstein's castle has that. What are you doing? No, uh, what am I doing? And we're gonna blow up. Yeah, let's go in there. It looks safe. This looks totally safe. And that's not good. That's really not good. Ido! Ido Shkini! Thanks for following. And then they let the fire ants in. Whoa. Oh, glass. All right, crawling on, crawling on, broken glass. glass. Broken glass, sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it slowly so I don't tear up my arms. Okay, go feet first and kick the glass to the sides. That's my strategy. Oh man, this is terrible. Crawling on, crawling on, broken glass. Doom, ba, doom, boom. Well, I guess we gotta follow the butterfly, huh? Which 
you light the stupid match, please? <laughs> yeah, the take... match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Look at him smiling. Yeah. Uh, I figured it out. It's a lot of glass in here. Oh, I'm going too fast, aren't I? I'm going too fast. Left. Yeah, exactly, FPS monkey. Take your shirt off and push, push the glass in front of you. Yes. There's, there's tons of better ways to do this. Bring a broom. Broom would be good. I wonder what's in all these other ways to go. You know? What if you go the wrong way? Yeah, that was my suggestion graphic. Flip over and push it to the sides with your feet, you know? You got this, dude. I'd be exhausted by this point. There we go. So this game was the inspiration for Saw or inspired by? I think this came out in 2010. Saw came out. Oh, what did I do there? Oh, look at his knees. He's all cut up, dude. He is all messed up. Truffle Shuffling, this is a really interesting game, and it was better than I thought it would be. Nice. Welcome to the stream. Now go through swimming through this pool of lemon juice. I think, I think Mazer's the origami killer. I guess I don't really have any choice. All right, let's just do it. Yes, go this way. So you can kick anything that comes at you. I like this strategy. I'm holding all the buttons, so maybe I let go. Okay, here we go. Slide in away. Oh, you, I think you're right. Here comes the lemon juice. Yikes. Is simple. Electrocute yours as health. Just jump right in there. And electrocute yourself. It's the only way to save your son. Follow the butterfly. Ah! 
that down. Da, 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 da. Let's shut it all down. I better leave while I'm still alive. I'm not gonna save Sean by dying here. Better have a good look at each one of those condensers. If I choose the right route, I'll have a better chance of coming through this in one piece. Oh god, he's so dead. A butterfly. There's a butterfly over there. That's where I should go. I must have lost a lot of blood. I can hardly stand up. I didn't come this far to give up now. I've got to go all the way if I want to save Sean. A field of electric condensers. I've got to go through them to reach that butterfly. Got to concentrate. The slightest wrong move and I'll get an electric shock. Oh god, okay. Step one. Almost break an ankle. Coward, there's the coward door. Okay. A field of electric condensers. Looks like the last trial before reaching the butterfly. These condensers are alive. If I so much as touch them, I've had it. The spaces are different. Some condensers look easier to pass than others. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on. All right. Come on, Ethan. We got this. All right. Um. So. It looks like. This one? Right? This is the only one with not active lightning? Am I missing something? This looks good to you, Jumple. Marauder says, we once followed our dog when we were lost hiking. 100% do not recommend. Oh, no. All right, what are we doing here? You got this, man. You got this. This is like a IRL operation game. Don't touch the sides. And... That's beautiful now. Isn't it? How do I tell which way to go? Let's go this way. Okay. All right. I'm really glad this isn't me doing any of this. I would be terrible at this. Far so good. Uh, that's the way back, right? Yeah, right, let's do it. I thought that fall was bad. It's like a game of Twister for your hands. Like you never know which buttons they're gonna ask you to do. Alright, wait, now I can go. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's this way.
Okay. Hey, Electric Messiah, what's going on? Yes, this is our day two of our heavy rain playthrough. All right. Uh, looks like we can get out right here, right? Let's try it. Oh, no. Are we going to jump through this? Wait, what is this? Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me. Huh? You need a bog hand cam? <laughs> this is what it looked like. <laughs> hey, there's another uh, little movie for our phone here. You're recovering from Canada today. Happy Canada Day, Electric Messiah and other Canadian otters. Oh no, look. It's filling up. Roosevelt. I see, I already know what it says. Roosevelt something. I don't know. Roosevelt Dean. All right, that gives us a little more, a few more letters to an address. We gotta do these challenges to get the address for our, the kid. The kid's already dead from hypothermia. Yeah, he's already dead from hypothermia, lack of food, lack of sleep. Seth Dora says, nice work. I failed this part and never saw that part of the game. Thanks, Adora. Shuffle Shuffle says, wow, when I did it, I died like four times. I just, I just was very careful. I don't know. Hey, Angelique. Hey, Dark Lazy Flames. God. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, I would definitely fail if I had to do that in real life. There's no way. Why is she going to his room? His door was open. Sorry. <laughs> Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Look under the bed and discover the box. Oh, he left the box on the... Oh, he left the box right here. All right, so we're going to snoop. He's the... Origami figures. What is he doing with them? He's the origami killer. Not lots to do in here, huh? Arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Gonna have to undress him if I want to disinfect his wounds. <laughs> Oh my god. What happened to him? Seems to be unconscious. I don't think he can hear me. 
Gonna have to undress him if I want to disinfect his wounds. You said that already. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Same button presses to get through electroshock uh, condensers. Wait, where's his wounds? Is there a fever? You've got a hell of a fever. All right, so now we know. Go play with the origami fingers again. Yeah, grab all the things this time. Don't make me take the things individually. I like that. All the stuff. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. I don't like that you can't see the stuff on his arms. Oh, there we go. See, it suddenly appeared. Oh, I gotta do it slow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I didn't do it slow. I'll go easy. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, Evil Regals, what's going on? We're just doing some wound care here. No worries. Ah, sorry! Sorry. I'll go easier. This part's impossible. Slowing down wouldn't really help with rubbing alcohol, and that's true. There we go. All done. We don't need to do the other arm. The other arm is magically okay. Your wounds are disinfected. <laughs> At least on one arm. Have some medicine for that fever. It's the anti-fever. And look, he doesn't need any water to swallow those pills. Um, bandages. Do we need ointment? I don't know if we need an ointment or not. Without the ointment, those bandages stick to those wounds. Nice. <laughs> should be nice He's and unconscious. stuck to. Now I'll just have to wait and hope he wakes up. All right, let's go snoop around his room a little more. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> Yes, Otter Scotch. We're going to ignore the legs. Does she fall asleep? Remember, she has insomnia. How do you feel? Oh, no. Remember, he has broken ribs, too. Hey, Morgan. I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. 
Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Uh, oh crap. Why did it switch to, uh... You didn't really leave me any choice. Okay. It switched, couldn't just leave it you switched like off that. a controller. <sighs> you said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um... I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. That's the second time I found you in a bad way. Yeah. You always seem to be running for your life. What's happening, Ethan? You mixed up with the Mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. No I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. Bye bye. Gianni2728, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? She took my origami. My back, my back. My back hurts. What? What's in here? Oh, that's my biggest fan. What is happening to you, Ethan? What are you doing? Let's wash our hands before we pee. Okay. Guess he doesn't have to go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Number three, we get to open I, It kills me that he doesn't open up all the origami at once. It kills me. Absolutely. He goes in order. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 Marble Street. No, I'm not prepared for a sacrifice. It won't cost much, just your arm. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? This is the guy we found on the street. I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Oh, he's rhyming. Domino's Pizza. Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. Oh. Okay, this is... This is Ethan's... It was a few months back. ...separated wife. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. Uh-oh. She's there putting me in. Something. She's putting Ethan in as a suspect here. Something. 
something in his eyes as if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Hey, hey, KCSL, what's going on? How you doing? I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few oh, questions no. about him. Oh, no. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Uh, I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Uh... Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Oh, this did not go well. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So uh, you're going to be a good boy and uh, tell me what I want to know or I am really going to lose my Blake, temper. Stop that immediately. <laughs> Let go of me. You you have no right. This is the worst cop I've ever seen. <laughs> it's the worst cop ever. Hey, Mr. Biggs. Okay, this cop is out of his mind. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? Were you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're going to stop this shit right now. Yeah. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Why is he going to tell them now? He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. Why would he just suddenly confess? It must have fallen out of his pocket. Oh, oh my god. They're gonna think he did it. He's toast. He is toast. Hello. That's just a close-up. That's the loading screens. Why do deers get bloated when they die? Deers? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, there's... Where is this going? Okay. I can't even imagine where this, this is going. Okay, so there was a deer that got hit by a car, unfortunately, the other day. Uh-huh. Okay, and it was on the side of the street. And it's the side of the street that I need to turn onto the, the, the route, the, the main street. Uh-huh. And yesterday, it was kind of like just chilling there. And then today... It looks like a giant balloon with four legs sticking up, and... They're answering you in chat, but it's all gross. Okay. So. It's all gross. There you go. Okay. Don't puncture it. I was not going to. <laughs> I was That's not nasty. going to. That is nasty. Yeah. Whose job is it to clean up road? I don't know, but somebody moved it. Really? Yes, because you know how we have like those like side lanes where like if you're gonna take a turn, you kind of like go into it. Yeah. It was there. It was like more so on the street. And today, when I drove past it, somebody dragged it onto the grass. That was probably just somebody that lives in the area. I think. I think so. But yeah. Deer get bloated because doe rises, says Eldon. Eldon. That was a good one. Why you have such good like puns? That was good. good I like that. That was that. good. 
Yeah. Javier Rayon 89 says, Hey, Bog, I'm Javier Game Developer. Hello. How are we doing? Um, Javier, if you have any business-related uh, stuff to discuss, you can email me at askabogotter at gmail.com. How's that? How's that? But yes, I love story. St I like heavy story games. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Like and, heavy rain. And random questions like why do deers get bloated when they die? Right. Exactly. Now that I know, I'm I'm going to go for the day. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. Uh, if one of my mods can put the uh, business email address in chat again for Javier, that'd be great. If you uh, need anything, yeah, just let me know. Otherwise, okay. I'll just bring you lunch later on. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Thanks. No this chat knows all the things. There you go. Ash, I want you to assign Thanks, every Rosewolf. available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify okay, all sounds good, Javier. to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Origami. Origami killer. Ethan Mars. I don't know how this cop gets away with doing all the stuff that he does, though. A lot of a lot of BS. Yes. He is the number one worst cop of all time. He's pretty pretty close. Ooh, do we get the golf? Top golf. Look at this guy. This is how you swing the golf club. This is where I take all my first dates. <laughs> Even though there's something really weird going on with the textures on my head. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Yes. Oh, no thanks. No, you say yes to coffee. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Yes. Okay. Yes, Take I would. And grab a club. Okay, I'm going to be so good at this. All right, jacket is off. Okay, and yeah, this is a good the balls one. Are in that basket. This is my favorite one right here. This is the best one. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Trying to see if your audio is in sync, Azaria? It's all in the hips? All right. First step is to address the ball. Hello, ball. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. All right. I feel ready. I feel totally ready. And... Okay. Got the two hands on here. We got this. Okay. All right. And with a nice motion. We'll start over. I have bad gateway on the top right-hand corner. Oh, yeah? I have to fix that. Oh, my God. There's too many things to press. RB. LB. I'm so good at this. RB. LB. Up. Ray trigger. Yay. I hate the ball. L, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Look at me judging me already. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. Oh, this is the guy's dad. This is the dad of the uh, the millionaire son who basically kicked us out of the party and stuff. All right, so what's the bad gateway on the top right-hand corner? 
Oh, you're right. What is that? That's got to be my follow alert. Do you see it? I do see it. Yeah, I just... see it. I'm sorry. My eyes are so good, and I notice things like that. Oh. <laughs> you're bragging. No. You're bragging about your eyes. No. That's the follow alert. Boop. It's not going away, though. Why did it not go away? Boop. And then... Bad gateway. There we go. Now it should be okay. Now it should be okay. Let's... let's uh, Gianni follow. Let's, let's see if we can redo that. Will it show up? It's not showing up. Hey, somebody that's brand new to the stream, please follow so we can test our alert. I don't know why that's not working. Boop. I don't see it. Hmm. That's a conundrum. That's a conundrum. I don't know. We'll fix it later. I can still shout out the uh, the follows. All right. I'll have to ruminate on that one for a bit. I will. But at least the bad uh, thing is. The bad gateway's gone. Hey, Upright Lion. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the Origami Killer case in any way. All right. We get better at this. Yes. That was much better. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. That's a good response. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? 19,500 million. I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. I like him. Man of integrity right there. Though I might have played the card of, hey, if you're so rich and influential. Sweet googly moogly, three months in a row? Are you feeling all right? Love the community. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you, Fishhead, so much for the three-month resub. Hype and love in the chat for Fishheads. Now you got the Pirate Honor badge next to your name. Promotion time. Thank you, Fishheads. Hype and love, hype and love. Um... If he's so rich and influential, why can't he help us solve the murders? Why don't they ask around, try to figure out who really did it? You know? You want me to stop investigating your son? Help us figure it out. But I agree with you guys that the uh, the son, I think, is a red herring. 